this year at Geneva Auto Show, uh, we are launching a completely new car, the 3 Series GT or Gran Turismo, uh, which, uh, with which we are trying to set up a new class of vehicle. Uh, it's a car with which people can travel fast and far uh, in style, uh, I would say. Uh, it's a car that offers uh, class braking space and comfort, uh, headroom, legroom uh, of a 5 Series in a smaller type of car. Flexibility, versatility, like an estate uh, in a, a car with a very, very elegant uh, sloping roofline. Now my focus is on, uh, on all the brands, BMW, Mini and Rolls Royce, because um, of course as a design team uh, we uh, try to take all these brands forward into the future but, um, and in the last couple of years we have continuously expanded um, the range of vehicles for each of these brands uh, in order to offer our customers uh, more choice. So uh, as such, uh, heading up this organization of about 600 people, uh, I get involved in every single design program that is, that is going on. Yeah, the 3 Series is of course a cornerstone of our business and of our uh, history. Um, uh, what we are going to do is that uh, the future coupe uh, will no longer be a 3 Series, it will be called a 4 Series. And we felt that that name change uh, uh, was befitting uh, of the content of the new vehicle. It is uh, getting a little bit bigger, uh, more interior space, uh, longer wheelbase, uh, it's a wider car. It will look uh, both more elegant and more sporty uh, and more luxurious. So uh, we felt that uh, the four was uh, probably the right number. And then um, uh, it will uh, allow us to uh, give all our coupes, our two-door cars, an even number, six series and four series. Well, I mean, um, our cars are sold uh, uh, the world over, uh, and uh, in that sense, um, we are fortunate because it means that BMW, Mini, Rolls Royce, they are global brands, and uh, they are global premium brands or luxury brands. And for a, a premium or luxury brand, I think it's incredibly important that the look and feel of the brand uh, is the same all over the world. Um, we do know that uh, tastes differ across the globe and that people, especially when it comes down to colors and materials, um, you know, want to individualize their product. This is part of a premium experience as well. Uh, and through that, uh, they can then uh, personalize the car to their uh, uh, needs and wants. Uh, but the overall look and feel of the, of the shapes of the car uh, will be the same all over the world. Well, in, in 2013, uh, we are going to bring uh, eye to the road. So this is still uh, a very important year uh, in, this, in the very young life of the i brand or sub-brand. Um, very exciting year because the i3 uh, is our take on the future of the, of the city car. Um, and we're going to come to the market uh, with that this year. Very revolutionary technology, both from a drivetrain point of view or vehicle construction point of view. We're going to use um, carbon fiber for the whole uh, structure of the vehicle. So it's very, very new uh, and the form language reflects that. Um, we do believe that uh, there is room for more, uh, otherwise we wouldn't have uh, set it up as a sub-brand. But um, this year we will focus uh, strongly on launching the first car, the i3. The next 10 years is a, is a big step. Uh, if you look 10 years back, mm -hmm. then you begin to see a little bit of uh, how much change uh, the industry has seen and the BMW Group has seen. If you compare uh, our lineup of today uh, with the one that we had 10 years ago, uh, then you'll see complete new sub brands like BMW i. You'll see complete new types of vehicles like an X6 or a 3 Series GT or a 6 Series Grand Coupe, which we didn't have even five years ago. So um, if you project that kind of speed of change or innovation 10 years into the future, uh, you get a little bit of an idea of what we could do. Uh, obviously, we would like uh, to continue on our path of growth and continue to offer um, our customers what, what they are dreaming of in terms of individual transportation. 
Our connectivity is a, is a big, big issue for us. Uh, already now, every BMW uh, offers uh, internet connection. Um, we are going into a, a time where each of our cars will probably have two big screens in the car. Uh, and even apps, we already offer uh, apps through BMW App Store. And then, of course, uh, since a car is a driving environment, um, our focus in the design team will be on how to deliver this information to the driver and the passenger in a format that is uh, not distracting from the driving experience and that will, in fact, enhance this driving experience.